I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information Not too long won't keep you waiting One rap star the queen was dating Fuck that now cause he's a pagan Sitting on this it's been some ages All this time he's been on playlist In my mind I need to say this What kind of man will see your wages Boss bitch I ain't chasing no man Hi guys Welcome back to my channel My name is Lani Good So um, if you're a new subscriber Actually if you're just new here Then where have you been? But if you're a returning subscriber, then I have F's with you heavy. I love you lots. Um, you know, I you know my love for you guys is getting so much deeper and deeper as um, the years go by. But basically, I'm on holiday. People that follow me on Instagram and Snapchat will know that. But you guys won't be let me live. <laughs> Some of you have been putting pressure on me to react to Bianca's um, video, but I'm on holiday. You know, it's negative vibes. But I just thought, whatever. It's not gonna kill me to sit down and talk about it for 20 minutes, so <laughs> uh, I'm gonna talk about it. Um, I'm in a much better place, by the way, so I hope you guys don't think I'm gonna get upset. I'm in a much better place. Um, I think I don't even really think about it because um, I think it's negative. Um, I don't think about it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think about it. I've kind of just like buried it, buried it away, and I'm trying to be like more like positive and stuff, and not think about negative things and horrible nasty human beings but um yeah so for the simple fact that i don't think about it i haven't really processed it and i haven't made i'm just i guess i'm low-key like I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what to think because i don't think about it but anyway whatever let's go let's watch it i know she doesn't talk about me the whole way through so i'm just gonna get to the bit where she does um let me go in my chat let me go to to Andy so this is the video um if it's windy I apologize but I can't do this indoors so my mom can hear me but I'm gonna speak loud so you can hear me so I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys I'm gonna be completely honest with you you know what I'm not saying that what happened to her with what his face was right of course it wasn't right it was wrong in every sense of the word but at the same time where I feel like she didn't care about me and also where I feel like she was kind of cold towards me when we're all sitting there and she was acting like I wasn't as important as her I so basically because she doesn't care about me I don't really care about her trauma with what his face yeah cool or sad but it has nothing to do with me you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna show you compassion when you didn't show me compassion, like, period. So, um, I'm just gonna brush past that bit. Um, do I think she went through her trauma? Yeah. Do I think that she was treated unfairly? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe her trauma is the reason that she's made such poor decisions because even her, like, no one's perfect. Let's, let's not, let's not act like we're perfect. And none of us have ever talked to a guy, maybe, who we thought wasn't totally, totally, um, single no one is perfect um but i think people like to see growth in people i think people like to see that pe people are willing to learn and do better in life and i think she wasn't giving that because i saw a lot of the comments were like she seems insincere also another thing is forget me like we just find the weird that you were dating a guy who openly said he his hustle is using women and i think Something she might not fathom. I don't even think this is this is just how I this I, I think I think I'm pretty like spot on with this. But I think something she doesn't fathom is like you know a lot of girls date like bad boys and they date like drug drug dealers or they might date like a, a full star. So in her head, she thinks like him hustling girls is on the same level. It's not, baby. What she doesn't realize is even though women we fight, we have this sort of respect for each other we look after each other we're women at the end of the day we have it difficult as women we have we have life difficult we have to look out for each other it's not easy being a woman in this world when it's a man's world people say this is a man's world so even though we may fight we may hate each other we may beef there's a sisterhood we have and there's girl code bro there's girl code there's just and girl code is not just for your friends there is girl code women looking after women to a certain degree and I think, um, basically, yeah, if you want to date a drug dealer or you want to date like a phone star and all that kind of stuff, that's not, you, that obviously is against the law, whatever. But like the minute you are dating somebody who uses women and you're comfortable with that, we don't, we don't like that. 
It's like, sis, he's hurting one of us. So I, I, ugh, I don't know if she realizes that, but um, anyway, let's listen. I'm just gonna put volume on. I'm not gonna do the whole putting on the screen. I don't have time for that. There's a conversation um, where somewhere somehow you and Esther were able to come. No, don't care about that. So we'll start with that bit. Um, they're telling her that we didn't know she was there and she was nervous. It's okay to be nervous. But guys, let's just, let's just be real. No human is perfect. People, of course, say things out of nerves. People misspeak. People act out of character. These things happen. However, fundamentally, outside of people's mistakes, a human being's character, I think a human being's character must be somewhat understood. So you can see somebody act completely crazy, but their, their character is, is a grounded kind person. I don't think she realizes that it's not about your nerves or the fact that you said one thing. Babes, they haven't just judged you off one little thing you said to me. They judged you by body language. Yeah? Number one. You had your hair. You had you, you were in turn to me. They judged you by your mannerisms. They they judged you by your tone, your dismissiveness. They judged you by the things you said to Esther and the things you said to me. And they also judged you by the stuff I've told them. You saw me walk out of that building crying, bro. Barling. You had you'd been in my DM before, so you could have reached out to me before the show came out to say, Lani, I hope you're not still upset with me. I wanna um just sincerely apologize again behind the cameras, but to tell you, Lana, except I don't have to tell you to apologize. The point is, like, all these things make a character. Cool, you made a mistake on stage. Did you reach out to me before the show came out? No. You saw me walk out of that building in tears. You didn't reach out to me. All these things make a character, a person. You said you was nervous. Was you nervous for the whole 10 months before it came out? There was not one day where you sat down and thought, let me reach out to this girl. I know for a fact she knows upset because she even apparently said it to someone else. She said, so why didn't you reach out to me when you've been in my DMs? I would have got it direct. Nah, man. It's all these things that say a lot about you. your story on stage you didn't want to share so you failed and then you saying that you walking in was a oh, big deal big whoop they asked you to walk in there was a surprise guest big whoop like i don't I, what girl whatever leading up into that there was a point i still asked you to share your experiences and you said i don't want to put my business yeah, so why was you there? And it looks like you, you say in the least, just going back on what the comments is. Just tell me the worst. Say in the least, tell me the worst. And the reason why I say in the least, tell me the worst is because I literally couldn't read what had happened before I came in. So I didn't know if I was over, gonna over share my experience. I didn't want to undershare. There's things that I've been through that I haven't even. But you didn't share at all. So why was you on the show? So why did you come on the show? This is the thing, you see when she starts um, 
getting emotional. I have really bad internet right now. Please tell me in the comments if you can see tears. Can you screenshot? Screenshot it, zoom in and tell me if a tear, if the eyes are watering. Tell me if there's tears coming out. I hate acting. I hate it. I don't like it. Me, fair enough. Yeah, I cry all the time. That's just my personality. I'm a be real with you lot. I cry when I'm happy. I cry when I'm sad. I cry, cry, cry. I'm a crier. I'm a Pisces. Give me. It's just is what it is. Um, but sometimes I feel like people think that without crying they can't convey pain. No, you can't. Because people can see authentic pain through people's eyes, bro. People can see authentic pain through people. People don't understand. People can read body language. If she crying, if she is crying, then calm. But I don't, I, I, um, I haven't seen her wipe her face. As far as they're concerned, we've done this a million times. This girl is, um, really, um, deflecting. Because me and Esther have been in front of the camera, we are better at opening up about pain. What? That's cap. You don't need to be experienced to be able to open up about pain. You just open up about pain and just authentic. People just want authentic people. Like <sighs> anyway. Why would you be the weakest link? I wasn't sure that almost all. So be because you didn't anything, I think she just went on there to be transparent. But you wasn't transparent. And if you if you want to talk about um you don't want to be the weakest link, you try to make me look like the weakest link though, because you were like you wasn't, you know, like I don't know what who you were to him. I don't care about him. I don't want to be nobody to him. He's a waste man. Okay? I don't want to be nobody to him. What are you even cast over? I can see why you um, call me. I was there, what, what six months and uh, six weeks and I bounced. I don't get why he was there for even as long as he was. I'm going to keep it 100% um, true with you. I don't I don't understand what you was you was gassed over. The guy, the, the guy doesn't have money. And to be honest with you, <laughs> You know when I was saying there's some secrets, like the, the, there's certain things come on, like there's certain things about, you know, he's lacking. He's lacking, definitely. He's lacking. What are you in love with? Are you trying to tell me he really rocks your world? It's impossible. It's impossible for him to rock your world. It's impossible because he hasn't got the facilities to do that. Okay? He hasn't got the facilities to do that. Let, let me just like that. me by showing my aliens. but at the end of the day um at least mine looked cute if people saw yours and what you're working with you'd be ashamed wouldn't you you would you'd be ashamed you'd be embarrassed wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't you Day. I don't think they did anything. You had a chance to speak, you didn't speak. It's just, honestly, what was happened and what I intended are two different things. I would never use this type of situation for clout. I personally think you want a clout. I do. Because it wasn't trans. You wasn't trans. You wasn't. You're saying you went there to empower women, but you didn't say anything. You were talking about a story about a car. You wasn't talking about your pain and your trauma. So I think you did. I'm not gonna lie. I think you wanted to become an uh, influencer. A lot of people have said that you're the first one in the comment section of Shade, but I've seen it myself, bro. You're the first one. You're always getting a thousand likes, two thousand likes. You wanted to be an Insta buddy, and it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not a crime. It's not a crime to want to be an Insta buddy. To be honest with you, I don't even think that's that bad. I'm not saying using your trauma to become popular isn't bad. But if all you want to be is popular and big, and people talk about you, that's not even that's not bad. That's not a crime. It's not what I do. I talk about. I, I like being popular. You know, I like talking and stuff. It's not bad to want to be. To, to want to be big. Calling a clout chaser is not the end of the world. What's bad is that you 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 put me down. That wasn't nice. That's all. Like, 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 it's not it's your intent. It's it's Do you know what? It's been hell, but at the end of the day. Um <laughs> How much of a contributing factor were you? 
on to my notes being spread. I don't know if I'm going to observe. Okay, she does this. How much of a contributing factor were you? <sighs> Let, let's continue. I'll, I'll elaborate in a minute. She said behind the scenes, she said behind the scenes to someone recently that she thinks that I am still in love with him. First of all, number one, I was never in love with him. Okay? 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 Number one. Don't put that on me. Don't put that on me. That is, is embarrassing. Stop embarrassing me. You have done enough damage. Stop, stop saying things like that. I hate it when people say things about, um, like that about this particular person. What is there to, for me to be proud of, of about being in love with this guy? This guy is broke, uses women, and is lacking in many departments. It's embarrassing. Stop saying that about me. So, first of all, when she's saying stuff like, oh, um, I don't want to hurt your feelings, you can't hurt my feelings. How can you hurt my feelings? What hurt me is the, the, the fact that the guy did the way he did and everyone was laughing at me. You can't hurt my feelings because what are you gonna say? Oh, he said that he never rated you and you was this. So? You think that's gonna hurt my feelings? You think I care if he rates me? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, okay? You can't hurt my feelings. Just tell me what he said, I don't give a fuck. Are you serious? If you told, if you if you had told me, it might have been more entertaining because I have tea. So maybe if I had some ammo, I could have spilled the tea. I still haven't told you, man, the the the, 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 the secrets about my man. I haven't. I've been classy. I haven't said the, the, his dirty little embarrassing secrets. But if you gave me that ammo, maybe I would have said it. Maybe I would have said it. Oh, sorry, my battery died. Oh, my battery died. Yeah, maybe I would have said it. Like, I, I feel like. She's trying to be like, I don't want to hurt your feelings. There was context, you know, when he was saying it, he was basically saying that he was just some girl that was a fan of his and like he was obsessed with him. Esther's already told me that he used to, Esther told me that he said that um, when I first told her about me and him, she was just like, oh, I already know, like he told me that you follow him around like a puppy. I didn't know that he just cap. Follow you around like a puppy. One of your, the first things you said to me when you clock like there was a bit of flirtation mm -hmm. is um, when are you gonna let me eat your bum? Let's not, let's not, um, <laughs> my guy, like, please. And to be honest with you, I don't really care. I, I, I just don't. I can't explain it, I just. <sighs> this might be half, hard for you to fathom. But you see how you're going around explaining that this was your boyfriend and you were his main thing and you wasn't a side chick? I don't care. I don't want to be claimed. Please don't claim me. Don't. <laughs> okay. Don't claim me. I was nothing to you. Of course. Of course I was nothing to you. You don't even know. You don't say my name. Don't say sh I, don't, I, don't, I don't care, bro. I don't bring that guy. Stop saying that. Stop putting that on me. It's pissing me off. It's actually pissing me off. I'm not going to lie to you. I hate it. Stop putting this thing on me like I was on, on my mind. I don't want him. I don't rate him. And let me tell you something that's fact. The way he don't, whatever he said about me, the way, whatever idea, um, what he was talking shit, but I don't even care. I'm not even here to prove nothing. I'm not here to tell you what he was saying to me behind the scenes months after because I don't really care. But let me tell you something. The, if he 
rates me if he is if his ratings for me are minus 100 like minus 100 my ratings for him are minus 50 million 50 million okay you guys don't even know what i know she knows what i know because she's she was she was about hey move man it's a fucking fly you guys don't know what I know. She knows what I know. You're talking about me being in love with a guy who doesn't have things that he should have in the, his department. He's lacking very much in, in, in the department, in the area. What, am I, what, what are you falling in love with? This guy can't even rock your world and you're telling me I'm in love with him. Don't put that on me. Stop it. I'm not. I just done it because of, I, I wanted to support Esther. I and mean, then you was there, I wanted to support you. And then he went left. I'm trying to be classy here. Let, let's not do that. I don't even want to be that girl. I don't want to be that girl. I don't want to be that girl. I don't want to. Pfft, I don't want to body shame. I don't want to. I don't want to put anyone down. Please, but don't. <sighs> he leaked my things. I absolutely hate him. But what you're not gonna do is 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 paint a try and paint a picture like um, I, I don't want to hurt your feelings because he's. I don't care what he said. Or oh um you know I don't know who you were. I don't who what I was nobody to him. You, you don't talk, I was nobody to him. But I saw, I can still talk about my, what he did to me. I'm still a victim of, of the news. But I don't, I don't need to be nobody to him. I don't need to be a side chick, main chick, left chick, right chick, minus a hundred chick, never rating chick. I don't need to be nothing to the guy because I don't care. Like, let's stop doing that. Like, I'm not in this game. You lot can play that game. You play that game with whoever you want to play that game with. Like, you're his main thing. Stop putting that on me. I don't want to be no one's main thing. Don't claim me. Don't say you know my name. Ill, gross, no, done, finished. Low it, low it, low it, low putting that on me. Like Lonnie's on man and Lonnie wants to be claimed by a man and Lonnie was just a side chick. Bro, who are you? Side chick of what? Who are you pleasing with what you've got? Let's not do that. It's, it's embarrassing, embarrassment. Don't do that to me, embarrassing. Let me even stop my rant before I really lose it. Stop it. I think I give a F, I could never be in love with that. Okay, the funny comment. When I said it was funny, it mm -hmm. was such a bad choice of words. Okay. When I look back on it, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just like, why did you say that? I was so nervous and I was so caught off guard. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So the reason I didn't, I didn't mean funny as in humorous. Mm -hmm. I meant funny as mm -hmm. in so what's that got to do with you passing it on if, if you think you have the cheek to say because like, you're fucking dumb what's that got to do with you passing it on it does, doesn't make any sense i don't think it was a choice of words bianca like i, I understand that people can have choice of words and all of this but bro it's not about what you said it's about the fact that you admit to an action people people don't really give a f if you find if, if if you didn't send it on but you said when he sent it to me i was like who's this desperate girl and you and you can say that that's what i thought at the time i thought who's this desperate girl ill on my man like <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing at her he's my man I'm, and you had never sent it on i don't think anyone would care cool whatever you're protective about your babes no one would have cared it's because of the act that followed after that use your brain duh duh hello is anyone in the house duh like, no one no would have cared no one cares. Nobody cares. Um, oh my god, like stop. Why are you on here? It's just so such a bad choice of words. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Of course he was. Of course he was. He was dating a star and you so why would he you guys be the only ones okay out of context but it was my fault and it doesn't take away from the fact of how i've made her feel so you also mentioned about the forwarding part of the new now i'm gonna end it after this i'm gonna find out that that's where there is a yeah uh there's a legal issue there, isn't there, in terms of the legality of sharing news on, online. Um, why did you forward it? Yeah, that's the bit people care about. Or that person. So, I think what, what wasn't clear, and, and, and why I said 
viral. Um, how can you embarrass me when I brought up my nudes? When we were single and did you not, not see that I brought up my nudes? It was me, no? You, can't, you, you don't embarrass me with my nudes. Um, yeah, I think that's not a secret. Do you think that's a secret? You can't embarrass me, Bianca. You, you can't. It, I, I've already been through it. I've already cried. I've already felt like shit. You can't. Just the facts are the facts. They were, on, they, they, were, they were on Twitter and people were laughing at me. Those are the facts. Those, those, are, those are the facts. We can't deny the facts, can we? Those are the fucking facts, darling. You can't embarrass me. You can't. We just want to know where you fucking eat them. That's what we want to fucking know. Listen, you're saying it's take away for the... Um, okay, so I guess that's your excuse. That's your... your Whatever, that's your scapegoat. They were already viral. That's bullshit. I don't believe it. I, I don't. If they were already viral and then she was showed her friend and she said, look at what's viral. Uh, I guess. I guess. Fair enough. It's, it's, it's not as bad if they were everywhere and everyone had seen them when they were in the shade bar. But that's, that's a lie. Let me tell you why I think it's a lie. If she was far removed from Mark. When I mean far removed, they were not close at all. Far removed. She didn't even know my man. And it, then she says it was viral. It would be believable. But the point is, that what we know for facts is you you and him were like this. You and him were like Tom and Jerry. You and him were like Hagan does. Do you get it? You and him were like Ben and Jerry. You and him were like Rice Christmas. You and him were like this. So, one of the first people of contact he would send anything juicy to you would be the people he's closest to you. And who is he closest to? Drum roll, please. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. You, Bianca. <laughs> am I correct? I think I am. I think I'm correct. I am, I am, I am. I think I'm correct. Yes. So you are one of the first points of contact. Absolutely 150 million percent. Million percent. You're one of the first points of contact. So for all we know, he sent it to you. Um, Esther, and maybe another babes he was dealing with, maybe another babes he was dealing with, and maybe his best friend. Maybe all those people, because I have to remember, guys, remember I gave you context, he has sent it to, he, 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 he does this. Like, um, I know somebody who said that he, he always shows them, like, all the um, white girls that he's beating, he always shows, like, their ones, and like I said, he's you guys to me like he had shown me messages from a girl like it basically this is his in his character so how do we know the others saw it laughed off moved along and then you one of the five um you who is one of the five first points of contact how do we know that because how do we how do i know and how do we know that you are not the reason it went viral how do we know that when he sent it to them a lot they didn't send it on they laughed at it they, they maybe they even put in their group chat everyone laughed moved on how do we know you weren't the person who made it go viral because you sent it to your group chat because you sent it to a chatty patty boy how do we know i don't believe it was viral sis i believe you were this close to my man you were the one, one of the first points of contact and i believe you contributed to making it go viral i believe that god is real and i believe god has brought the person who made it go viral to me on my doorstep i believe it is you who made it go viral i believe that um um he sent it to esther maybe another babies maybe to you and i believe they didn't send it on i do i do believe that i believe you sent it on i believe you are the reason it went viral i believe it was you and your carelessness i even believe low-key that you sent it to more than one person that's what i believe however and but we're not gonna sit here forever and ever and drag this girl i am not a bully i am not somebody who tears people down even if they do wrong to me that is not me especially if they are quote unquote 
trying to do better. I want you to do better. I would prefer if you sat in my face and apologized and I could read your body language and look into your eyes. But I'm not gonna sit here forever and drag you. Nor do I want my supporters to drag you forever because that is not what I stand for. I don't stand for sitting in front of a camera and just mocking you. You deserve a bit of bashing and that's why I've joined in because what you did to me was foul. It wasn't good, it wasn't nice, it was disgusting. However, I'm not going to carry on with um, my I'm not going to carry on with my Lani Good, um, my Lani Good brand, um, because let me tell you something, I, I don't actually don't care what people think of me, I'm just, I'm just authentically myself, and one of the things that I hold, hold, um, one of the things I'm most proud of myself for is that I think I'm a good person. I think I'm a very good fucking person, yeah? And um, unlike you, I can't live with ruining someone's life. All people did was cuss you a bit. Oh, oh wow, you felt like shit. So what, people just cussed you. People actually saw my fucking nipples, bro. Do you understand? I deserve you, you I, I believe you deserve to get dragged to a certain extent, but to be honest with you, it needs to end. At some point, it needs to end. I can't control what other people do. If they want, if, if, they, if they continue to bash you, it is what it is. However, for me, for me, um, I am going to work my hardest to move on from this. I, I, do I believe you're sorry? I'm going to be honest. I believe you're sorry you got cool and your sorry didn't go your way. Do I think you're an evil person? I don't even know the answer to that. I, I'm going to be honest with you. But what I do know is that you have you are trying to act like you do feel regretful what you did um i don't like the justification of excuses i would i, I just i just like real people i would prefer she just said yeah he sent it to me i was being an absolute bitch because i was so upset because he kept cheating on me i did it maliciously and i think that i'm so ashamed of myself what i did was awful and um I would never do that again and I've learned from my mistakes and I wholeheartedly apologize to Lani. I'm so sorry. I'm disgusted myself. I'd rather you just admitted it, bro. Like I just I like authentic people. I actually believe human beings can make mistakes and grow and, and, and change. I actually believe that. So I just I feel like you're chatting I'm not gonna lie, I think you're chatting shit. I think that you didn't send it when it was viral. I think it was one of the you I think you got the exclusive. I'm gonna be hundred percent real. But like I said, I am not gonna sit here and bash you on my channel forever. That is long. This is the last video hopefully unless she does something this is the last video i'm gonna do on you um as far as your consequences i don't know um what kind of consequences you're gonna get because i'm still dealing with the legalities in terms of him at the moment but i'm on holiday this i'm having a break from it but um in terms of me forgiving you um i suppose I suppose I forgive you, whether I, even though your apology wasn't sincere, I, I forgive you. I have a soft spot for girls. I have a soft spot for women, so I think that's why you you'll have you're gonna you're getting a lot of grace from me because I have a soft spot for women. Um, also, you were abused, so maybe your brain wasn't functioning because you was abused. I don't know, but um, yeah, I forgive you not gonna drag you for the rest of life it's whatever um i don't even want clout and views obviously i'm sure i'm gonna get a few views off this but what i mean is i, I could rinse this and, and do video after video after video after video long um me when i beef someone it's authentic um you yeah you deserved a, a couple of videos on the bashing because you put me for a lot you put me for a lot you put me for a lot i was fucking finished so you deserve the bashing i just hope you do better babe be better. Be more for women. Women, we have this. We have this code. It might not be obvious, but we have this code. We look after each other to a certain degree. Yeah, we're, ch we're trifling and we sleep with each other's boyfriends, but we know men chat shit. And I, f I, I don't even know if you recognize that men chat shit. Men are manipulative. Men lie. Sometimes look after your sis. Look after the woman. The other woman. Sometimes she's actually your sis because she's none the wiser, or he's manipulated her. And that's what I'm doing to you right now. I'm treating you like a sis. I've bashed you and I've cussed you out, but at the end of the day, I forgive you. Do better, do better. And that's it, I can't be asked, man. I just, I can't be asked. Good vibes only, I hope. Yeah, good vibes only. Anyway, guys, yeah.
I'm not reacting to the rest of it, it's just negative vibes. Um, and um, yeah, so at the moment, this is where I stand, this is where I want to be, I want to um, move on and forgive her. But um, just depends on how things come, continue to, to, to transpire in life. But yeah guys, I'm going to go back to my holiday and um, I hope you guys are enjoying England or wherever you are because you might be in different parts of the world too. But yeah guys, love you a lot. Bye. <laughs> I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information Not too long won't keep you waiting One rap star the queen was dating Fuck that now cause he's a pagan Sitting on this it's been some ages All this time he's been on playlist In my mind I need to say this What kind of man will see your wages Boss bitch I ain't chasing no man 